sit over here. There's room. Good morning. How is everybody? Hmm. There's Mr. Jim. There's Mr. Dave. Back there, there's Mr. Jesse. Jesse, wave hi. Jesse. <laughs> there's some of the people that do things around here. We have a band. They make the pretty music for all of us. Um, Mr. Dave right now is taping the children's message because he goes and he puts all kinds of things on Facebook about the church. Mr. Dave puts at least one thing a day, sometimes two things a day, on Facebook about the church. Um, Mr. Jesse, by the way, works far harder than anybody else in the building because he was on vacation and I did one small part of his job with the help of my daughter. And oh my gosh, do you know how much grass we have around here that needs mowing? <laughs> yeah, I got the push mower, my daughter got the tractor. Yeah. You're a saint, Jesse. Anyway, we have people around there. We have a gentleman that goes to the 11 o'clock service who one day came to me and he says, Vanessa, there aren't very many, many tissues on the church pews. Do you have any? I said, actually, I do. And from that day on, he took it as his mission. He replenishes the tissues in the pew. He comes all about once or twice a month, usually on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. And says, you got any tissues? It's time to replace some. And we have these soft pack tissues because once upon a time when we had the cardboard boxes, I sat on the corner of one and decided from then on we're going to have soft pack tissues. But he didn't, you know, nobody said, hey, it's a job that needs doing. He saw it was a job that needs doing. And now he does it and I have watched him. He's got such a joyful smile on his face when he does a simple job like replenishing the tissues in the church pews. He's in there and he's humming and he's working and it's like, whoa! A simple job of putting a packet of tissues in a church pew. He saw a job that needed doing and he did it. Jesse and the sound guys and the media team and the band, they see jobs it needs doing. We have some friends here that take up the offering because they see it needs doing. Miss Mary, I mean, there's, I want to see everybody's hand because I know you each do something. Is there something you do in this church that helped this church happen? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Come on, Kim. Come on, Cap. Cap. The mayor's family. Come on, raise your hand. Miss Rittenauer, get that hand up. Casey, raise your You like the candles, boys. Come on. Everybody here does something that helps the church run. We are being what? If I give you a hint, what are we being? I know, I'm sticking it right in your face, aren't I? What are we being? Miss Mary, what are we being? The hands and feet of Jesus. Jesus! So this week I want you to go out and see the job that needs doing. It might be picking up the litter on your way in from the parking lot of the store. It might be helping the lady reach the box of Cheerios grocery store. It, it could be all kinds of a million different things. But find the job that needs doing and do it for Jesus and do it for a great, great joy. Shall we pray? Dear Lord, we thank you for the servants of your church. We thank you for the servants of your church. You brought them to us because they see things that need doing, we are more fully able to understand your love and your word. In your name we pray. Amen.